Hello subscribers, welcome to the MBBS materials and the next topic we are going to discuss is the phases part of the general survey. So phases is very important in your general survey because you can understand defined phases and get the clue that this patient has this kind of illness. Okay. So, first of all, suppose a thalassemic patient. So, this is known as chronic hemolytic thesis. Okay. In this patient, you can have depressed nasal bridge. Depressed nasal bridge. Okay. Then there can be epicanthic fold. So, in a thalassemic patient, you will have depressed nasal bridge. You will have epicanthic fold. This will be prominent. Okay. Then the malar prominence should be there. And also have tooth mal occlusion. This is found in a case of thalassemic facies patient. Okay. Suppose in a patient of ascites, you can have hepatic phases. In this patient, you will have a kind of muddy complexion. You can have sunken eyes. Okay. You can have pinched up nose. You can have hollow temporal region. Okay. And also there is an icteric tinge in eyes. So this is a typical finding in a patient of ascites and cirrhosis due to alcohol. Suppose a patient came with nephrotic syndrome. In a nephrotic syndrome patient, you can have facial puffiness. Facial puffiness can be there. You can have lead edema. And as the patient is on corticosteroids, you can have moon faces or prolonged corticosteroid therapy effect. Like you, he can have round faces. Okay. He or she can have prominent cheeks. And also, due to steroid use, there can be hirsutism. Patient is very, very in a pediatric age group, but he or she has eruption of the hairs in the face. So, there can be hirsutism. So, faces is very important in this way for your practical examination.